Ignari, this is a city that some of you have been asking about. Uh, a lot of you seem to think that it's a traffic issue. Well, traffic's non-existent. As you can see, let's speed it up to full speed. That was one highway entrance. Here's the north highway entrance. Here's the eastern highway entrance. And here's the southern highway entrance. Almost no traffic. My whole map is based around these little grids. They are six lane roads. Three and three, two A. With single lane coming off of them. Simple X pattern, nothing fantastic. These are the circles that some of you think are roundabouts. It's just this, all of these connecting. The traffic on them works wonderfully. Let's see, where's the heaviest one? Now let's go to the highway entrance. Usually the highway entrance is the most busy spot that you see in the map. Oh, we've got a little bit of traffic, but not a lot. As you can see, they take turns. They go one way, they go the other, then the other. But because there's six lanes, things can split very easily. Overall, traffic in my city is absolutely minimal. As you can see, the red spots that everyone sees, they're not even busy. They're barely staying red. Oh, there's one. A little bit of backup. That's heavy traffic for my city, right there. Now, part of the reason is I have an absolutely massive metro network. Every single one of those grids you see has a metro connection. So, people can get anywhere in my city very quickly and easily. This is the hub. put the uh, space elevator right here just so that all the tourists that it produces instantly go into the network. So all of these, they all go across the city. And then there's another one. This one's even bigger because this actually connects all of these and all of this. But again, it's not a lot. I have another YouTube video up that you'll be able to see if you search under my name, and it shows the southern connection before all these issues. This was just... it looked like an ant. I called it ant hill because it looked like an enormous number of ants. This is very light traffic, but pedestrian traffic for some reason. But as you can see, the city is operating now, finally, but there's no real issues. When it comes to garbage, I've used the incinerators. I just, when I restarted this uh, older save, uh, I actually had removed all my mods and I was using normal incinerators again, but I've since replaced them with these guys. But as you can see, way more than is needed. Way more is being burned each week. He's got 18 trucks out now, finally. But they're not using anywhere near their capacity. all over the city. And now they're finally working. I don't know why. It's just an older save. Everything started working. But I'm still running into the issue where my import, my imports, I've not seen it higher than about six, maybe seven thousand. Even with two cargo ports. I've got one there, and I've got one up in the northern end of the city in my port. As you can see, there's no long string cargo ships. I have more passenger ships than I have cargo ships. Most people, they've got a queue of them lined up here, and they're clipping into each other as they're trying to undock. But now, there's the next one. It's way down there. See, passenger ships. This is how many cargo ships we usually have. I've only got 
this one guy coming up right now. There's another two. The other thing is, look at how many trucks come out of it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Only eight trucks came out of that cargo ship. Let's try this one. One, two, three, four, five. That one doesn't even have a trailer. Six, seven. Usually, it's spewing them out like crazy. So, this is the weird thing about my city. Every grid has dense commercial on all four sides. All residential in the middle. The industrial and uh, office space are all separate. Every one of them is a police station. One elementary school, one high school, one fire department, one medical clinic, four parks, and one metro station. And then every other, or in a few cases, every section has crematoriums. Before, this number of crematoriums on pretty much every single grid, I think over here I have them every other. Yeah, every other. Hard to see because of the colors. You can see them. I have capacity for over 6,000. And I think at the moment I'm in the middle of a death wave. Let's check. Yep, we're in the middle of a death wave. Now it's handling it. But before, I had an issue where everyone just started dying. Everybody started leaving. Because my garbage trucks would not have more than two out at a time. Now with this save, I've got more than enough. seen a city of 270,000 with this little traffic? There's a traffic jam. And it's coming. Noise pollution is a little bit of an issue, but it's not bad. Because I don't have any highways, there's no actual high traffic other than around the ports and the industrial areas and the commercial areas. That you see here are from all the commercials, which is not a lot. Crime doesn't exist really. Birth to death, that about goes all over the place. Unemployment will go from 5% up to 30% depending on where we are in the death wave. I've mined everything out in the areas that I'm using basically, so I don't have to worry about that. Water is pretty much unlimited because I'm using these guys. Schooling. I have intentionally not built a university down here to try to keep some uneducated and educated workers. Everywhere else, they have, if you can see it, every grid has an elementary school. Every grid has a high school, except for industrial areas, of course. Health. Maximized. Death care, again, way over capacity. I don't have to worry about it. I have some cemeteries, so I have both crematoriums and cemeteries. Pollution, absolutely minimal. 
fire safety. Every grid has a fire station. Industrial ones have full size ones. Subways. I don't. I have zero buses. No buses at all. Nothing but subways. But the weird part is, for a city of almost 270,000, only 2,000 per week are being used. You'd think that with that few using the subways, there would be a massive amount of traffic. Traffic in this city. Where you go, traffic just is not there. Ports, very low. See most cities this size, you see the train tracks coming in. This is the only entrance for trains. That's it. I have more passenger trains coming in than cargo trains. And these I've never seen until today. Partial trains. It's weird. There's a single car. Again. My harbor is not receiving really any cargo ships. There's two, there's three in the queue that you can see. That's it. That's it. As for trains, I have one cargo terminal here, one cargo terminal over here, one here, one here, one up here, one way over here. You would think that with two, four, six cargo terminals, I would have a continuous stream of cargo trains coming in. Nope. of a death cycle. Birth rate. Influx and death. It's flatlined. This is where I started having the issues. This, is, this was about eight hours of gameplay. So things just stagnated. I hit about two, about 300,000 population. You can see it, right? There. It just stagnated. Most things seem to be better, but I'm still not getting the traffic. I'm not getting the importations. Constantly have buildings that want more raw materials. Why are they not getting raw materials? There's no traffic. See, they can come in here and go right down. Boom, dust earlier. Why is he not getting anything? Could be a bug with because it's a custom map. I don't know. Could be the mods. I uninstalled all my mods. Re uh, reloaded the game and or reinstalled the game and loaded the save file from Steam and it didn't work. I put the game to bed after posting a few things in the forum, came back, and suddenly today things are mostly working. As you can see, still not getting raw materials. Still no traffic. Still almost no ship traffic. Why? 